Now we will see improve your learning of lesson food components. See now we will see with the first question. Make a list of food items eaten during lunch by you. Try to mention the components in each food item. So here they have asked the question of the food items eaten by you during the lunch time. And what are the different food components present in the food items that you are going to eat. So children, each of us are going to eat different food items in our lunch. So I have given a simple example over here. We eat different food items in our lunch. Such as rice, dal, vegetables, egg, fruits, curd etc. And also some people like to eat chapati and roti also. You can include them. So food components present are. In this food items what are the different food components present we will see now. See in rice the food components are carbohydrates and dal proteins are present. Vegetables roughages, vitamins and minerals. In egg proteins and fats. Fruits, vitamins and minerals and also roughages are also present and you can add water also. Curd, proteins and fats. So these are the food components present in the food items that we are going to eat. Now we will now we'll see the second question where Manjula eats only bread and omelette daily. Here a girl named Manjula, she eats only bread and omelette daily. So do you think it is a balanced diet or not? Why not? If it is balanced diet, why? And if it is not, why not? So here Manjula eats only bread and omelette daily. It is not a balanced diet. So children, we have studied that balanced diet should contain all the food components like carbohydrates, proteins, fats, Roughages, vitamins and minerals. Then only it becomes a balanced diet. So we will explain over here. See it is not a balanced diet. As bread has food component. Carbohydrates and omelette has fats. But to be healthy our body needs all the nutrients. Here nutrients is nothing but food components. Like carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. In a proper proportion that is a balanced diet. It makes up a balanced diet. It includes all these food components in our diet. Hence other food items like milk, dal, vegetables, fruits, curd etc. Are to be added in the diet of Manjula to make it a balanced diet. Okay children. Next we will see the third question. Make a list of food items that contain all components of food. So the food components that we eat should contain the food components like carbohydrates, proteins, fats, roughages, vitamins and minerals. So what are the different food items which contains all these food components are milk, rice, dal, egg, vegetables, fruits and water should be taken to meet all the food components to our body. Now we come to the fourth question. Here this is an activity based question. Here the question is asked like this. Who am I? So first question in this is I am a component of food that makes paper translucent. Translucent means which becomes blur. The paper becomes blur when this food component is present on that paper. So the food component of the food item that makes the paper translucent is fats. Example oil. Next put a drop of me on a cut potato. It turns black, blue or blue. Who am I? So this one we have done the experiment with the iodine solution. So it is a iodine solution. Here iodine solution. When a drop of it is put on the food item. Here they have taken the potato. So a drop of iodine solution when put. 
then it contains the food component turns carbohydrate when the food component is carbohydrate then it turns dark blue in color yes next we'll see fifth question explain what will happen if we don't include rough edges in our food so here rough edges is also one of the important food component which should be included in our diet yes rough edges are a kind of carbohydrates that our body fails to digest they help in free bowel movement in the digestive tract and prevents constipation so this rough edges help in the free bowel movement in our body in the digestive tract and it prevents constipation so we must include sufficient fiber foods in our daily diet such as vegetables fruits whole gram foods etc so these fruits vegetables and whole gram contains lot of rough edges in it so we have to take this in our diet to avoid problems of digestion if we are going to take this rough edges in our food items that we are eating then we can prevent the problems related with digestion so hence we have to take rough edges in our diet next question we'll see we come to the sixth question test the given food items and record the type of component that are present in them so here first one is groundnut when we are testing the groundnut it contains proteins and fats cooked dal it contains proteins and pulsu it contains vitamins and water next question it is of your choice you can draw any of the food items in your diet that you are taking in your diet yes right children this is left to you you can draw the food items on your own next question eighth one if you were invited to a party with many food items in the menu like rice roti puri idli dosa samosa dal green salad vegetable curry fruit chaat chicken curry eggs and gulab jamun so these are the different food items in the party for dinner so what food items the question is what food items would come on to your plate to make it your diet a balanced one so the balanced diet includes which food items we have to write it down here see rice we have to write the food items which contains the food components required by our body to make it a balanced diet see rice roti dal green salad vegetable curry chicken curry fruit chaat and eggs these are the different food items which contains the food components to make it a balanced diet next question is what food items would you take plenty and adequately so here we are going to take plenty rice dal chicken curry and adequately is very less that is we are going to eat the sweet very less gulab jamun next question we come to next question ninth question how is water useful to our body see we have to drink lot of water why because water is also an essential component needed by our body we should drink sufficient water as water helps the food to move easily in the digestive tract water helps in many other processes in our body as well hence we must drink plenty of water so this water even it is present in fruits and vegetables also next one next we'll see 10th question fill in the blanks here tenth question consists of so if our food is not balanced with proper nutrients we may so if the food does not 
contain the ballast that is the food components then what will happen we may get diseases or we may not grow we may not grow or we may suffer with diseases so you can write anything fibers in our diet prevent so fibers are nothing but roughages in our diet prevent constipation 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 next our daily diet should include plenty of so what we have to take plenty of water next oils and fats gives us energy what does oils and fats they give us energy next one match the following we have to match the words here and here so fiber it helps in easy bowel movement so c fibers are nothing but roughages next proteins are the body building they are help in the building of the body carbohydrates are energy giving so in this manner you can write next question is prepare a balanced diet chart with the help of your group and exhibit in your school science fair so this is an activity where you have to prepare the chart with your friends and exhibit in the school next we come to 13th question so what is the 13th question prepare khichdi with your mother's help using all kinds of available vegetables dals nuts etc write a note on the process of making khichdi so firstly we have to write down the ingredients so what are the different ingredients we require for making the khichdi yes right rice 1 cup so rice has to be soaked in water for half an hour rice and dal that is moong dal it has to be soaked before cooking in water for half an hour so that the rice will become normal vegetables different vegetables you can add in khichdi peas carrot beans potatoes onions chilies and curry leaves ginger garlic paste 1 teaspoon oil 1 tablespoon condiments so what are these condiments elaichi lavang bay leaves and shahjira these are called as condiments which give flavor to the rice that is khichdi required number of con of the condiments you can add and salt to taste so depending upon our taste we can add the salt and now we'll see the process of making khichdi so firstly what we have to do take a bowl and put it on flame and take oil in it so add as we have said 1 tablespoon of oil in it and fry first onions chilies condiments vegetables then ginger garlic paste and now after they have become brownish in color then add 2 cups of water here we have taken 1 cup of rice so double the amount of water we should add that is 2 cups of water to it when water starts boiling add salt to taste then add soaked rice and dal so which was firstly we have soaked in water the rice and dal should be added in the boiling water then cook for 20 minutes after 20 minutes a tasty khichdi will be ready you can eat it so in this manner you have to write firstly you have to write the ingredients then the process of making the food item any of the food item you take and you can write in this manner next please we'll see the last question is 14th one observe whether your mother cooks on a low or high flame discuss with your mother and find out the reason so when your mother is cooking the food observe it and ask her why she is cooking on low flame or high flame so 
mother cooks some of the food items on high and some on the low flame what is the reason we'll see now see some items like potatoes eggs etc are cooked on high flame because they are boiled in water they are boiled in water so they need high flame next some of the items like rice dal vegetables etc are cooked on low flame as the food components present in them get deep fried they will become charred or denatured to avoid this they are cooked on low flame so these are the questions of food components